Welcome back, friends. Uh, I wanted to share today sort of a recipe that and an item that shows up time and time again in my meal plan. Costs just $1.75 to make yourself, um, and it's oil free lemon hummus. So, thanks for coming to the Thrifty Food Plan channel. This is where you can find frugal food budgets, grocery hauls, and meal plans using the USDA Thrifty Food Plan. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I eat frugally through this recipe. Please do hit that like button and please consider subscribing. So I know there's gonna be a lot of background noise because my dishwasher's running. And this is something you see in my meal plans almost every week. So I'm gonna show you how I make some of my homemade hummus. This is oil-free. Um, it will use a little bit of tahini. If you don't want to use tahini, uh, there is a hack for that. So the first thing is I've got one of my giant tumblers um, for my Ninja Blender. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, depending on what they're called in your store. And one of the things I love about the Ninja version is that this is all measured out here, right? So I'm gonna put a little less, a little less than four ounces of the juice, the aquafaba, it's called aquafaba, in the can of chickpeas, a little bit less than four ounces. All right a little bit less than four ounces and then I'm just going to strain my beans, my chickpeas. All right, put the chickpeas in here. All right. Now the next thing that I do, I've got a lemon here. I've rinsed the outside of the lemon off because I am going to zest the lemon. I've got a zester and I'm gonna zest, this is a pretty big lemon. I'm gonna zest at least half of the lemon. This is like a lemon hummus. You'll use what you have. So something that's true about me is that I drink a lot of water. It's part of my effort to clean my liver after years and years of alcohol abuse. And so you're gonna see in a minute, I'm gonna use some of this lemon for water. All right, so I have zested and zested and zested. This lemon zest is gonna give this a really nice flavor. Now I'm gonna take this giant lemon cut it into pieces. And then I'm gonna use about half of it to get lemon juice in here. So about the juice of about a half of a large lemon. Then with the remainder of the lemon, I'm just gonna cut it into pieces and I'm gonna use the rest of this lemon uh, to put in my water every day. <clears throat> Sometimes. Pieces, all right, so that'll give me six pieces of lemon to use for the rest of the week, which should be plenty. Got a little 
baggy. I do have reusable ones, but they're all dirty right now, so I'm just gonna use this. So save these lemon pieces for my water. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon pepper. Now, if I could find salt-free lemon pepper, I would, but this is the cheapo smidgen spoon, spoon variety from the Kroger, so it's like a dollar a thing. Um, but sugar-free, I mean sugar-free, salt-free lemon pepper would be better. I'm gonna put about a half a teaspoon in just to give it a little flavoring. Um, if you don't have any lemon pepper, just use the zest of the entire lemon rather than half of it. Um, that will give it lots of flavor. And then, um, y'all saw me a couple weeks ago, I always buy this giant thing of tahini and I'm gonna put two tablespoons of tahini in here. Now, if you don't wanna use the tahini, you want it to be completely fat free, you can. Um, you might remember at the very beginning, I put in a half, like just under four ounces, like three ounces of the juice, the aquafaba from the can of chickpeas. If you do not wanna use the tahini, go ahead and put a full four or five ounces of the aquafaba in here and it will mix up just fine and you can make it completely fat free. So that's one way to kind of pack this if you don't have tahini or you don't want to use tahini because it does add a little fat. All right. Then you know what happens next, right? I'm going to put this lid on and with my Ninja, with my Ninja, there's a smoothie setting and a uh, a boost setting and so I'm gonna blend this uh, for the smoothie setting with the boost on but I'm not gonna film that because it's loud as I'll get out so I'll see you in a minute all right so we are done blending I'm just gonna scoop the hummus So this makes, depending on how much I snack on it, this usually makes enough to get me through three or four days. Um, well, maybe five days if I just use it for snack. Sometimes I use it for salad dressing too, um, or in a bowl, just as a sauce in a bowl. One tip here, don't forget all the goodness that's typically on here. Super good. And you'll always hear me talk about it. Serve it up. Some carrots. Delicious snack for the week. Homemade. So how much does it cost to make this hummus? Uh, the full recipe is in the description box below. And there are hacks if you don't have tahini or you don't and or you don't have lemon pepper. So in some ways, the tahini and the lemon pepper seasoning are optional ingredients, but this is what it costs if you have all four ingredients. Chickpeas, 78 cents at Walmart. A lemon, 63 cents at Walmart. Um, at Walmart, the one that they, the tahini they had uh, at the Walmart near me is uh, Israeli, so it's spelled a little differently, but it's $3.32 for the whole jug. Um, and there are 10.5 servings in the jug and the servings are two tablespoons, which is exactly what I use in my recipe. And if you do all the math and you round up, it comes to about 32 cents a serving. Lemon pepper seasoning at the Walmart near me is a dollar. Amazingly, it has 133 servings in the, in the little canister. Uh, those servings are a quarter teaspoon. My recipe used about a half a teaspoon. So when you do all the math and you round up and all those sorts of things, it comes out to about two cents a serving. So 
all together, it costs about a dollar and 75 cents to make uh, this lemon hummus if you use all the ingredients. But again, you can make it without the tahini and you can make it without the lemon pepper. You can make it without both of those things. Just check the hack hacks in the recipe below, but not too shabby. Days and days of snacks for $1.75 a batch. Serve it up with whatever vegetables you have on hand, raw vegetables, cucumbers, peppers, carrots, um, you also can bake some corn tortillas in the oven and make some homemade tortilla chips. If you've got crackers, serve it with those. Also great to put a dollop of the hummus on salads, on Buddha bowls. I also sometimes use it as a spread on sandwiches because I don't eat things like mayonnaise because I'm a vegan. So lots of different ways to use this lemon hummus, and I promise it is delicious. So thanks for coming by the Thrifty Food Plan channel. Uh, please hit that like button and please hit the subscribe button. Really helps with the algorithm and we're trying to get more eyes on this channel. And we'll have a new video up on Thursday. See you then and thank you again for coming.